So I've developed an output window for ball movement slash pass analysis. Now this is not an original idea. I saw it somewhere else and decided to create my own version. However, before I show you the output window, I'm just going to show you how I code for the uh, um, code for the data. So in my um, primary coding window, if you go to this part here where it says off-screen labels, I've got these seven labels here. And these aren't connected to anything. So there's no activation links, no exclusive links. They're just isolated by themselves in this section. And that's because I'd never code for this data during the game. Between you know the lineup analysis and the shot analysis, coding for how many passes occur each position seems like a bit too much. So basically I would do this after the fact in label mode and basically just tab through these positions and just code how many passes occur in each one. And then when you go to the sorter, you can kind of see how much data that provides. So I've got all my usual labels here, and then I've got this group here called, where's it gone? Yeah, there it is, passes per position. And here you can just see I've basically got tagged here how many passes occur in each position. And now that allows us to filter this data with every other piece of label data that we have in each of these positions. So if I show you the output window, this is what it looks like. So it's going to default to just, you know, saying uh, starting as all gray. Then you insert your team names over here, go to report mode, and then you can select a team. So I've coded the passes for both offense and defense. I'll show you offense. So it's going to give you the total positions here, 85. The average passes per position, 2.4, and then the points per position. Now, this is a bit irrelevant to passes in general, but it's relevant, and, and I'll show you why soon. Then below that, we've got the seven boxes, um, basically categorizing by how many passes occur in each position. So I'll just kind of highlight this one pass per position box and show you all the different stats. We've got the number of positions where one pass occurred, so we've got 16. The points that occurred in those, the total cumulative points from those um, positions, which is 17. The points per position where one pass occurred, so 1.06. And then the points above replacement relative to the um, team's points per position. So that's why we have this points per position up here, because it basically allows us to calculate the difference between the um, points per position for one pass positions and the usual points per position. And you kind of see how well, you know, what, what's the difference? Like, do you perform better with one pass or worse with one pass? Then you've got just general shooting efficiency stats below that. You've got field goals, two-point shot, three-point shot, half-court positions, transition positions, and then splits for contested and uncontested shooting. Now, the reason I've got half-court and transition positions here is because, obviously, when you have less passes, it's more likely to be in transition compared to when you have more passes, it's likely to be in half-court. For example, over here with six pass positions, you don't have any transition because if you've passed six times, you're probably not in a transition position. Same with, you know, five, four, three, two. You're only going to get transition stats in these zero and one pass positions, but it allows you basically to filter out the half-court positions as well, saying, well, if we had zero passes in this position and it was a half-court position, obviously someone's ISOing, you know, how well do we result from those ISO positions? Everything here also has video capability. So I want to watch the 15 field goals from zero pass positions. I click that and those 15 clips are going to come up. I want to watch the five field goals from six pass positions. I click that and it shows up. So it allows you kind of to watch these positions and kind of make your own judgments on what happened, why did you shoot poorly, why did you shoot well, etc., etc. But what I like about this output window is it does let you break down like how efficient is your ball movement, what's the result of that ball movement. So for example, we had nine positions here where we passed six times and we scored zero points. Is that obviously just a small sample? Well, it is a small sample, but is that you know part of a bigger trend? Whereas over here with zero passes, especially in the half court, we actually shot you know five of ten. So should we pass less? Should we pass more? We we pass you know not that much in general, especially if we compare ourselves to oh well Illinois passes even less. They only have one point eight passes per position on average. So how do how do they do? And you can kind of analyze your defense. How well do you? Um, defend against low pass positions, how well do you defense, defend against high pass positions, things like that. And again, just because it's the other team doesn't mean we don't have video. We also have video here. So you want to watch the uh, the nine positions where they shoot a two-point shot from a two-pass position. You can also do that. So that's my pass analysis slash ball movement um, output window. If you have any questions about this output window, my email is in the description below. 
other than that, have a good day and I appreciate you watching.